YouTube viewers and welcome to the next entry of Final Fantasy 7 in HD on PC with me. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is why aren't you where you left off? Well I actually tried an experiment. I wanted to go back to the gold saucer to try and get Cloud's top limit break, that being Omnislash. And I hit a problem. Basically, uh, the book says, which I forgot because it's been such a long time since I played this game, that in order to breed chocobos to do chocobo racing, ergo get plenty of um, gold saucer points, you need the high wind. And we haven't got to that stage yet because you do not get the high wind until after you go to the Temple of the Ancients and that's when the game changes forever and also I can't get Tiffa's limit break until I reach what would be disc 2 which is just past that point in any eventuality so I can show you Leviathan, which is the summon that I picked up at Wu Tai. I don't think I've already showcased this. I can't remember. Here it is anyway. Impressive, most impressive. I never did use that summon very much because that screech really annoys me. But um, never mind. Let's get in our buggy and uh, let's see now what I want to do. Ah, that's what I was going to do. Not that. I want to go back to... Corel. Because I want to see possi what possibilities are of me... stealing some turbo eaters from the... Uh, mushrooms that are there. That's why I got a different sword on Cloud because I kitted out Cloud for the battle arena. I did the first battle, but the only drawback is, which I also forgot and then had to remember, was with the battle arena. Whatever battle arena points you get, you instantly lose when you lose when you leave the battle arena. So unless you've got a load of gold saucer points, because each battle is ten gold saucer points, and. In all fairness, I've got 1100 in the first. Oops. Yeah. I got 1100 in the first battle that I managed to complete. Oh, it's nice, not much. So I'm estimating probably less than 10 fights. I should get enough to get Omni Slash. But. Really, the only thing I can do is off camera do a load of chocobo races in order to get enough uh, gold saucer points to do quite a few battles. It would literally take ages. The only other way of doing it is to go on like the fruit machines there or the wrestling machine at the start of Wonder Square. And get a um, get gold source of points for beating that. Beating that. But I really wanted to get on this fast quicker rather than later, but never mind. Let's just go back to the tiny bronco. 
I also missed um my son missed it. I didn't miss it. Uh at least I don't think so anyway. The book states that Yuffie's uh, next weapon or one of the most powerful weapons, Kunforma is oh sorry, Aritsu is at Wutai. But it doesn't tell you where it is in the book. And I can't honestly re like I said it was such a long time ago I played this game I Quite a lot of it I can't remember. <sighs> Never mind what's going on. I don't know if you've been catching my uh, Happy Wheels playthroughs. I'm going to start doing them at 10 minute. Oops, 10 minute clips rather than the last one that's half an hour long. A mate of mine today said Happy Wheels now because of my uh, YouTube site. He said. It's not your forte, so I don't think. Well, you know what I think? And he walked away before I had a chance to tell him. I think he anticipated it. So, where am I going? The wrong way, that's where I'm going. The wrong way. I want to go back to Mount Corral. On the other side of the gold saucer, which is, I do wish the camera would turn round. Why it can't follow you all the time is beyond me. It sucks. Uh, keep spinning it round with the buttons. Fuck. I've made the pig's leg all of this, have I not? All I had to do was go to the entrance of the gold source and <laughs> go left, never mind. Or right, whatever it was. I will show you a interesting... Mm, not so much a glitch, but something I used to do years ago that I found purely by accident. I just need to set myself up for it. Remember I said in previous clips that Reflect could be really useful if you know how to use it. Well what you need to do is you need to get a... one of your team, say Barrett, yeah he's got links good. And what you want is you want a mastered all like that and mastered barrier. I don't know if the barrier has to be mastered but I couldn't hurt to get reflect then you want to have another roll a normal one would be alright as, as you guess not let's go exchange and uh, let's see a uh, normal roll right. no something a bit more beefier than that fire hmm maybe transform mystify Ice, we're going to go for ice, there we go. And the next time we get a group fight, I will show you what we do. No, not really, that's not worth it. Oi, you deliberately dodged. Have it. It will come in very handy for where we're going. Very handy indeed. Uh, don't worry about going back to the tiny bronco. I should do that off camera. I can't believe I screwed this up. Huh? All round the house. Let's just get back where I came from. Never mind.
This is an additional amount of damage now, as young here is. So let's carry on. Hopefully, we'll get a fight between here and Corel. Oh, it's only just there. Boink, there we go. So, we, what's up, what's up? let's go through here. I don't even know if that's a point. Um, let's put mug on Barrett and find it. It's probably on Tiffin. Nope. It's on your feet. No, I'll oh, put enemy skill on Barrett. Come on. There we go. And where is Mug? Steel, there we go. Also, I'd like to get some right arms from the bombs on, on this uh, bridge if we get any at all. Because that, that's really handy actually. Explosive device. explosive damage on enemy not very good but still well I'm not gonna go far I'm just gonna stay like on this point here hopefully yeah I should be able to show you what I mean I'll show you that first so what we do is go magic and cast reflect on the party that reflects magic then magic Ice three, but we cast that on the party as well. And because we've got three reflects on the party, and it reflects magic, it reflects three times. So you get one, two, three. Now, in fact, you do need master all to get every single one of them. Cool, huh? <laughs> I found that out just by accident and I was like, ah, that's mad! I love it! It certainly comes mad. Let's see. Let's try some mugs and see if we can't get some turbo leapers around here. Big guard on their voice, so you put everybody in haste. Because I'm going to try and get the um, gold saucer points off screen. I will show you the Chocobo races in this clip. He didn't steal a damn thing, did you? You useless at it. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Yeah. 
Let's just try these five. Oh my god, you can't steal nothing, can you? Really? Perhaps mug's too strong for them. No, don't think it should make a difference. It's not working, is it? Not one single solitary turbo either. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not one. How crap is that? Oh well, no mind. Let's get out of here. Well, I know I've used Mug before on the bomb that's on this bridge and got right armor, right? So I, I don't know what will work on them. When it connects. See? You get that no problem, but just can't get the turbo ecos. Well, it's not a huge problem because after you've been to the Temple of the Ancients, I'll be able to get turbo ecos left, right, center. There's a beach plugs where you get white wind from. Oh, no, sorry, big guard. In the Temple of the Ancients, you get a yellow material called morph, and each enemy can either steal from them or you can morph them into something. And the big guards morph into turbo weavers, so I'll be able to get loads and loads and loads of them. If you can see the bottom menu, you get three big, uh, three beach plugs on the screen at one time, sometimes four. Yeah, I'll just show you this. I've already bought a li lifetime pass for the gold sources, so I can come and go as I please. One thing that is annoying about this game is the way they've set up the Chocobo races. Because, if we go to Chocobo Square and run up to the top, and let's have a bit of a bet, shall we? 200 guilt, yeah, okay. Two, the B even, right? Yeah. So you've got six chocobos, which you can cycle through and decide which one you want to bet on. Speed's a good idea, as well as stamina, so the best one there is Rika. You can only put down three bets on any, you know, any of these five, so you can have like one on the top, one in the middle, one on the bottom, or all three on the top row, or three on the middle row, whatever. So if we do 1.3, 2.5, and 4.6, of course, when you pick another one, it just automatically changes over. Like that. Now, even if your Chocobo wins the race, Unless you get one of the three that you've picked here, it still counts as a loss, which is really annoying in my, in my opinion. The race is all oh, so press start and off they go. So our took about is the white one. Alright, Joe, they're shifting. Uh, don't do too much too quickly, mate. Right? 
Take your time. Oh, it's a short race. Oh no, this is the longer race actually. Of course, yeah, because it's uh, B class. It was A class, just the short race. That's better. I mean, I know I took a pose in the last place there, but hopefully it'll come through at the end. Please. Uh, no, he's nowhere to be seen. Okay. And we missed the button anyway. Okay, so that one failed. I lost. Well, I've never said that in my life. Let's see. Yeah. This time I'm going to put uh, rank C. Let's see. Powell's your best one. But speed is a bit more... Uh, so the fastest is Harvey, but his stamina is not as high. Let's have Harvey. And we'll do exactly the same again. So we go 1, 3, no. We we'll go 1, 3, 2, 5, and 4, 6. Yeah. And off we go. Now I could do this off screen. I'm using it primarily to see how much um, gold saucer points you win for winning a race. I can't remember. If you don't win anything at all, it's going to suck. You might just get the item that you know that you win, and that's it. I can't remember. We're really slowing down nicely. Most of them are catching up. Harvey's in last place. Come on, Harvey. Move yourself, lad. Yahoo! I've got no idea why. Oh, sorry, should I say, I don't have no idea how you get these different kind of chocobos because. I well, reckon you're going to get one, two, three, four. You can get yellow, green, blue, black, gold. You can get five, five different colours of those. I don't know about the red ones and the pink ones and that. I don't know. Come on, Harvey, break through, son. Oh, this is supposed to be a shorter race. It seems to be last longer than the other one. That's it. Head down away. Go. Go on. Break through, Harvey. Go on. Go on, son. Go on. There you go, backwards. Okay, we didn't win. But, did we win the baton? No, we didn't. <sighs> well, one more go, and then I'm going to forget this, and I'll show you how else you can get gold source of points. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like? Yeah. Right, let's see what we got this time. Luke is the fastest, but stamina is down to night. Hmm. I'm going to pick night. Three, two, four. Do what your predecessors have failed to do, night. Please. Be so, be so kind. I'm sorry if this uh, entry has been a bit of a washout, but... Um, I'm actually putting off going to the Temple of the Agents because I know what the outcome is and I don't want to, I don't want to do it. 
But it does annoy me to think that um, <clears throat> in the Temple of the Ancients there's like a, a cock ring. And one of the directions to go is Ares top weapon. But after the Temple of the Ancients she leaves the party. And I will not be able to get her top limit break. It's top limit break, you gotta to go to the old man in the cave to get Mithril to take to the uh, weapons salesman guy by Gongaga. And that is where Ares top limit break is. But you can't get to the old guy unless you've got a green chugger bow or the high wind and the high wind you don't get until after you've been to the Temple of the Ancients. So it's a bit silly to my voice is I thinking. I think I'm right in saying, I can't remember, but I think I'm right in saying that you cannot get Ares top limit break or her top weapon. So it does uh, makes me wonder why or how. We've got pictures of it in the book. And we lost again. That one good at this. Well, screw that in. Yeah, yeah, get used to it, mate. So, forgetting that, um, we go to Wonder Square. And in Wonder Square. you got machines where you can get AP, AP points, which is this one here. You have no AP, a GP even. Nope. Armors and similar stuff. Try it. Sumo. you got to keep on pressing OK. I win. So you get one GP. You can do it that way, or you can go over here and keep plugging away at this. Sometimes you get one GP, sometimes you get two, sometimes you get three, or in this case you didn't get nothing at all. But you get a potion, I think you might get an ether. It's completely random the outcome, like that. You need 10 GP to do one battle of the battle arena. Oh, okay, the game straight release. Okay, to shoot. Okay. Too much club. I've never actually tried to play um, basketball with a medicine ball before, but here we go. Right. Swoosh. No, too light. Oh, well, now do this. Look at this. I've got one GP. So we'll get at least two. Right? Yeah. That was a good start. Never mind. Well, anyway, that's how you get your GP. Uh, before you get choked by which you can't get until after you've been. Uh, got high wind, which you can't get until after you've been to the Temple of the Ancients. Uh, let's see. Station. Let's get back out of here, go on to the main world to save, and that'll be the end of this clip, I think. Sorry, it's been a bit of a washout, but um, I think things were explained. I showed you that cool thing with the uh, reflect, and uh, starting next clip, we will be returning to the storyline, so I will be going to the Temple of the Ancients and carrying on, regardless of outcome. Let's go out of here. And save the game. And so thank you very much indeed for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe if you're a kind. Uh, click the small 
square button up on the top right and thank you i'll see you in the next one see you then